Preparing UX interview questions in advance is a must. It helps focus UX interviews on the research objective, structure the interview flow, and ensure you gather all the necessary information for the research goal. Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to UX Tweaks channel. Today we will discuss how to prepare questions for UX interviews to get unbiased, actionable feedback. The questions you ask should be based on the goal and type of the study. During interviews where you simply talk to the participant, focus on questions that uncover user experiences, behaviors, feelings, and habits. Use exploratory and motivational questions, such as, is there anything that motivates you to use the product? And if so, what is it? Or have you faced any challenges while using the tool? And if so, what were they? If during the interview participants are also asked to complete tasks, the question should be more task focused. Identify what user actions you are interested in the most and prepare follow up questions for the study tasks. For example, you can ask, what prompted you to click this button? For any interview, prepare two to three introductory questions. They help moderators establish a connection with the participants, encouraging the latter to open up. Introductory questions also set the stage for the interview and provide basic information about the participant's background. For example, you can ask, can you tell me what you do on a typical day? Now let's talk about asking research related questions correctly. A great approach is to start asking general questions first and then move to the specifics. For example, start by asking, what was your overall experience with the product? If the participant mentions using a particular product feature, you can then follow up with, what was your experience while using the feature? As the conversation progresses, you can dig deeper into issues users face and gather more detailed insights. Open-ended questions are key for successful interviews. They help encourage storytelling and uncover user motivations and pain points that would be omitted by asking closed-ended questions. So, during the interview, instead of asking, do you enjoy the product, ask, how would you describe your recent experience with our product? Use words like how, why, and what as much as possible when formulating the questions. The way you formulate interview questions significantly influences participants' responses. Thus, it's crucial to use neutral language that doesn't lead the participant toward a specific answer. Instead of asking, do you enjoy the feature? Ask, what do you feel while using the feature? Such framing is open and impartial, allowing the participant to provide more honest feedback. Double-barreled questions should also be avoided during UX interviews. These are the type of questions that touch upon two or more issues at the same time. When you use double-barreled questions, you risk confusing participants as to which part to respond to. For example, you might ask, what are your experiences and feelings toward the product? Participants might be confused about whether they should focus on their experiences or communicate their emotions. This can lead to incomplete answers and ambiguous data, which in turn leads to poor research quality. As you know, sometimes participants tend to give shorter answers that don't give us the in-depth insights. So, during the interviews, try to use the five whys technique. This method involves asking why multiple times. For example, if a participant finds an app difficult to use, ask why it is so. They might answer that the navigation is confusing. Ask them why it is confusing for them, and so on. This approach helps identify the root of the problems users face during their journeys and encourages deeper thinking. So there we go. By the way, don't forget about active listening and note taking during your UX interviews. If you need some tips on how to take notes effectively, don't miss out on our video guide. The link is in the description. Like and subscribe to watch more videos on all things UX related. See you next time.